a lot of talk about ad blocking. Specifically, Apple is offering consumers the opportunity to opt out of advertising. This is a war. We are on the eve of war as consumers have realized that advertising sucks and they can opt out of advertising. How do you know if you're wealthy? You aren't subject to the same level of shitty advertising that the rest of us are. The general compact has been watch our mediocre content and in exchange you have to endure ads, but all these over-the-top innovations, whether it's HBO Go or Netflix, get rid of the advertising. Google and Facebook are going to have to come head-on into the realization that their general revenue stream is advertising and consumers want out. It's going to be very interesting. A continued winner, Snapchat, who recently surpassed 4 billion views a day. That's up 100% just from three months ago. This put Snapchat on par with Facebook, which reported the same numbers in April. Think about that. Snapchat is now punching right in the same class as Facebook. One brand benefiting from the platform's success is BuzzFeed, which joined Snapchat's Discover feature in July. 21% of BuzzFeed's content views come from the Snapchat platform. Beauty brands, including Sephora and L'Oreal Paris, are experimenting on the platform in an attempt to reach its 100 million users, nearly half of whom are between the ages of 18 and 24. Brands love young people. Why? Because they're stupid and they'll spend a lot of money, irrational money, on brands, which translates to margin, which translates to shareholder value. Even Goldman Sachs is getting into the game, advertising their college recruiting on Snapchat. This is the equivalent of skinny jeans. It makes Goldman Sachs look a lot younger with great digital programming on what is seen as a platform powerful with a young millennial cohort. Another winner, esports platform Twitch, which has more than 100 million monthly users and was purchased by Amazon for almost a billion dollars in August of 2014. Analysts predict the esports market will be a $1 billion sector by 2020. The phenomenon is even coming to prime time with TBS planning live broadcasts of weekly competitions. Esports is becoming more popular than offline sports. The League of Legends, one of the largest esports championships, drew more viewers than the NBA Finals or Game 7 of the World Series. Only the Super Bowl gets more viewers. Keep in mind, this is people watching other people play video games. Another big winner, Michael Jordan, the 52-year-old ex-NBA star, makes more in one year from endorsement deals and royalties from the Jordan brand, a subsidiary of Nike, than he did in his entire NBA career. We're going to leave you with some fantastic footage of MJ over his career, set to my favorite new song, My Type, by Saint Motel. Why is it my favorite song? Because my kids will dance with me to it. If you want to imagine me dancing, imagine Ichabod Crane having a grand mall seizure. You're welcome. <laughs> We'll see you next week.